Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Venice. Republic of Venice, sorry. And in this episode, uh, we are continuing our push against the Prussians. We're trying to uh, wheedle our way in out of the east, really, to try and cover up, block up um, this river and threaten Berlin from the east to try and get some of these armies driven away. Uh, however, we've, taken, we've got an opportunity here to really do some damage to a Austrian, uh, a Prussian army. So we're going to take it and push them back towards the main city. So I think the main, the way we're going to do this is maintain the pressure where we can, keep upgrading our economy, and then try and find areas we can exploit, exploit um, the Prussians. Because the problem is the front line is quite strong and when you've got a really strong front line the 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 benefit is typically with the defender because you've got the time limit if they've got enough troops you just physically can't get enough you can't do enough damage in the time potentially um right heavy horse artillery up on one hill let's drop some foot artillery up on top of this ridge line Let's drop my front line. Everyone in it. I'm going to keep my gorillas all on the left. Give my... One second. Sorry about that. Uh, put my heavy cavalry with my gorillas, my regiment of horse with my... On the right flank. A single unit of howitzers. Both of my units of howitzers, I should say. I did wonder why I only had one. Get them unlimbered. Okay, let's redraw that line. Howitzers really want to try and attack their um, attack their cavalry. That's going to be our biggest concern off the bat. But we want to advance with our skirmishes and our cavalry. My foot artillery can can engage whoever they desire because they're going after their artillery anyway. Can my howitzers? You might start to engage their line infantry. Let's do an attack ground order here. And I suppose we need to start splitting up our artillery attack orders. Okay, that has got the AI to commit their cavalry. So let's start running my infantry. Oh, nuts. You may drop into square. It's only gendarmerie. Get ready to withstand. These three units all have to drop into square. Okay. Cavalry on the right push up aggressively. My artillery can begin to engage enemy battlefield targets. Come on, hold the square. New men form up, get Mr. Komen in. Howitzers keep slamming shots in against the enemy. Okay, we've got some hidden units over here. Heavy cav my uh, regiment of horse go for the Bosniaks. Okay, 
Heavy Cavalry commit. So the enemy advance in the center is being dealt with. To be honest, we've got a lot of routing units right now. You may pursue the Lancers, then we'll deal with their artillery. Fold the center back. All of this artillery pound in the center. I mean, if the cavalry don't want to come after us immediately, then we will just go after their artillery. That is our primary target. Don't mind you breaking, you did get charged in the center of their formation. Bring you back. They're in a concentrated position now for our musketry. Superior line, line infantry. These units fall back. Knock out the cavalry to the rear. My general is just quite safe. Excellent. Break cavalry and off to try to attack some of these routed troops. Okay, there we go. General, get involved. Infantry, form your line again. Yeah, this cavalry, go deal with those howitzers and then start to try and chase down some of the line infantry. How it says use round shots. Bring the light infantry back. Bring the skirmishes back. So they're stupid retreating, their stupid um, falling back tactics are going to cause us some issues. How it says, quick line the Bajines out of this unit. Actually, it's getting my general out of there. He's going to get shot. Let's split our infantry up into two. Just to use part of this line. Okay, right. You may engage the light infantry. Excellent. You can try to deal with that light infantry. The Marines have to advance up onto the high ground.
Okay, excellent. Looks like we finally managed to break them. So now... Artillery cease fire. Continue the action. There we are all spread out. We'll kill that one infantryman. There we go. Yeah, my my heavy cavalry ran through. There are stakes around here, so I expect it was them running around stakes that got them. Again, not a problem. We're not trying to minimize our losses. Absolutely, uh, we are just trying to maximize their losses so we can afford to lose two units of infantry our infantry line is taking a bit of a pummeling but that's to be expected against pressure um, we can deal with these replacing these losses just fine there we go so luca coming you have enough money to replenish your troops so right now this army wants to be replenished and they're getting another howitzer unit. We've got this force here that is growing in strength. And this army will join this push along the east to try and drive back these armies. I'm reluctant to pull troops out of Warsaw or Konigsberg because I want to maintain that... Uh, Warsaw and Gdansk, sorry. I want to maintain this defensive line. Apart from that, though, everything's looking reasonably good. Are you on your way up to Gdansk? I suppose this will grade you to a trade port with our last amount of money. Be able to put pressure on, but pressure on Prussia from the east. We have more Spanish troops on the way. Two stacks, although one's going west. Mm, Poland's going to come to and steal some of our technologies. That is not surprising. Russia is kind of in trouble because they're fighting Sweden. However, we are at peace with them, and I believe we've been trading with them. So we aren't even, it doesn't even matter to us. Our, we've secured a good amount of territory in the east. In a way, it's in our interests that Russia survive because we want them to try and hold off Sweden for as long as possible before we have to worry about them. Bavaria is our ally. That was a really good get for them. It prevents prevents people from the east, people from the west, sorry, screwing with us. Okay, what state are we at? Yeah, we're fine with you raiding us. That's okay. Signore, avanti! E marcia! What are you getting with your last two? I'm not getting anything, so you've got your cavalry. Oh, you need light infantry, don't you? Two units of guerrillas, I suppose. Oh no, sorry, you've got a unit of Albanian warband. Let's get another unit of line infantry. That'll be good enough. You're one turn away from your howitzer. Okay, so let's add some more upgrades due to the invention of the steam engine. Well, uh, let's probably make sure that we're... Okay, so you don't get any benefit from adding... The fur trader adds wealth, but doesn't add... 
um, directly add to our trade goods. Upgrade Batumi, our port. Upgrade Sevastopol, port. Okay, we don't want to upgrade industry up here yet because that's going to be in the firing line. Ooh, Piraeus doesn't have anybody protecting it. That's dicey. Especially with a Spanish fleet on the loose. So it's a pretty weak fleet. Okay, let's bulk you out with a block of third rates. And that'll be a really good fleet to deal with most problems. And then let's get on with the upgrading. So 6,300, that's a lot to drop in the port. Um, let's do a bit of shoring up along the frontier. Four thousand nine hundred. Hmm. So you're on your way up to Gdansk. And let's get you some Twelve pounders, because you're going to be you're a bit of a uh, <laughs> bit of a tripwire force for the Prussian, the um, uh, sorry, the Polish coming in. One more turn till you're done. One more turn till you're done. That's two armies that can continue fighting up the east of this river. Oh, sorry, no, that is everyone for you. Up you go. Okay, now right off the bat, I don't think we need to do much more. We don't need any more troops in this area because we've got a load of troops defending Prague. If they come for Prague, Prague, then we'll be able to do a huge amount of damage to them. So I think, yeah, we want to keep one towing our way up the east. That's the way to do it, I think. Okay, got 4,800. Economy upgrade with a way to go. Awesome. Not Nothing on the horizon to immediately worry about as far as research is concerned. That was somewhat inevitable. If you stay at sea... No. Although we have an opportunity here now. They may well have caused themselves some problems. It's going to take them a while to get from where they raided over to Egypt. And that's going to be more than enough for me to raise will bolster the existing army in Egypt. Then the army I've got in Naples, they can land on Tunis. Now there's only one stack there. So you want to land on Tunis, you want them to run into the city, or capture the city, and then we could try and make peace with them. Because they've lost Tunis. They will have lost Tunis. So we can use that to our advantage. Oh, the, the Prussians think that they're going to hold on to Moscow. That's why they're moving all their gentlemen back. Sweden isn't really doing much of anything. I mean, the rest of the world is just a mystery to us at this point still. Yeah. 
yeah, it's movements of those of Persian stacks into the fog of war that are hugely troubling. I think Dagestan wants to move armies to attack somebody overseas, but they can't physically get there. Path blocked. Building sabotaged. They've... Yeah, fair enough. Let's go for a state house. We don't need a military building here. Gardenia. Get a light galley. So they've landed all the way over here. I've already got a reasonable army here. Under Ludovico Castro. So that's three units. We... Two units of Colonial Dragoons, African Infantry Guard. I suppose they should upgrade some of these military recruitment buildings. Allow us to recruit a few more units of like heavy cavalry, grenadiers if we can. That would be fine. But yeah, it's going to take them a few turns to get over here. Meanwhile... First of all, let's upgrade Taranto. So they've only got one stack here. We want to land it off the coast of Tunis. Come on. I don't mind if we don't invade the city. Because that's quite a big problem for them now. Because they may lose their precious, precious city. Let's try to take out Maximino de Miranda. Yes! Kill the commander of this army. It's a colonial army anyway. Ooh, actually, I could give you Give you heavy cavalry rather than colonial dragoons. So in one turn this army will be done. I'll recruit a second turn's worth of infantry because we're going to push out and attack them. And while we're attacking them we're going to be building up reinforcements. Uh, 26,000. Let's do it this way. We're not going to upgrade that port anymore yet. Upgrade the steam powered cloth mill. We don't need that much naval production capability yet. Okay, 8,300. That's enough to get you over here. You should have your howitzer. You're going to push up towards these towns and clear out this area. Great. We're not going to fix that. We're not going to fix that just yet. You're 100% Catholic anyway. That's great. Upgrade the wine estates. Let's upgrade... Steam power cloth mill in Naples, because I'm pretty sure Naples is probably. Yep, it's still our richest region, although Vienna is catching up. And Vienna does have a lot of growth options still to go. Then we've got Greece. Greece is growing. Venice that was up there is now falling behind. Our poorest region is Astrakhan. But they are growing reasonably well. And they've got new towns on the bubble. So let's hit N10. Near the 
the Dutch to think they're so big. Uh, no, I don't want to intercept. Please, get into your city. Oh, I suppose I forgot how dope metal roads were. Worst comes the worst, we'll do, we can defend the city. Um, should we make them attack us? Yes. <laughs> Just because they want to get to our port. They want to get to our port, and this was one of the armies, or one of the small forces that were um, that are in our way to uh, <laughs> to clear out the east. Poor, poor beasties. I mean, that will do. New men just hunk it down behind them. Pikemen, get ready. Oh, it's his position. Cavalry just sit there. Just artillery the hell out of them. Men could spread out a little bit more, but I'm, there's not much point, I don't think. Guard decor. General's bodyguard's gonna hoover up a lot of the musket shots. Bit of a danger close component. Oh, and my skirmishers are back here. That's the reason why they're interested in them. Fair enough. There goes the enemy heavy cavalry. Bodyguard still actually here. Spread the conscripts out. To the square, the guard to call back. Use layers of placing stakes because they're going to fight a defensive action for some reason. Oh, 
Actually, go get him, General. Or get ready to go get him, General. Is there a general in this block? Not that I can see. there a general in there? Doesn't look like it. There's a drummer or a piper. Okay, the enemy general has been killed. The hussars are getting shot to ribbons. Get on my artillery to play around shots. Yes, you want to continue. Not because we, we don't really not that we need to kill any of these things, but it'd be nice. Prussian fusiliers are a good unit. It'd be nice for them to no longer have them and have to spend an extra uh, thousand gold in getting them back. Come on, General. Improve the improve the route finding. Pathfinding, that's the word. Slam so militia going down. It's quite a handy victory, really. They've combined into one force, which we are now going to smash into. Yeah, they are still reinforcing the front. Poland is still a problem. They want improved grape shot. Why not? It's a naval technology and you have no ports. I mean, they could trade it with someone else for something else, but you can't really think about um, <laughs> the second order interactions like that. For certain technologies, if you've got, um, they demand indefinite military access. No, but I will swap you techs. Because they don't need me. They don't need access to my territory to get to that Polish territory. Not Polish, Swedish territory. Um... Yeah, see, they're in that Swedish territory now, raiding away, and that's fine. Um, but there, there are certain technologies you have to be careful of. Quicklime and Fire by Rank are two that stand out massively, because they give you such a decisive edge on the battlefield. Whereas things like um, Selective Breeding and so on, they might be a strategic long-term um, gain if you give them away, but you know, in 50 turns, I don't really care because I'm already going to kill everyone. You know, it's, th it's that kind of mentality. I don't mind giving this technology away because I'm going to benefit from it so much more quickly than the AI. I don't mind. Wait, how's the US doing? Are they still just one state? Yeah... I really want them to do something. So I'm already paying you, aren't I? I'm going to offer you five grand. 20 turns. you got nothing I want.
So Sweden are advancing on Moscow. They may get it. I mean... I don't want to ally with them because it makes the, it threatens my alliance with Persia because they're enemies with Persia. I'd have to give up the alliance with Persia. I don't want to. Obviously, you've got you down here doing stuff. Lots of cavalry, lots of Spanish grenadiers, but we'd be able to sort them out nice enough. Or do we just let them attack us? I should really invest in walls potentially a bit late but i think the thing to do is to attack tunis and see if we can use the capture of tunis as a bartering chip to get these teleported away they will teleport to here so there'll be something we still have to worry about but not not as much of a problem Okay, let's just make make Vienna my most wealthy region, I suppose. Croatia, get the water power cloth mill. Heracleon got a global trading company, which is super. Patrika, we can't get any more upgrade any more farmland there. Let's upgrade one steam engine factory. Let's go after Tunis and see if we can use that to deal with our other Spanish problem. Come on, Orlando Sabatini. This is the uh, this was the reason why your army was created. It was to do this action. So the enemy has howitzers, so we need to move in quite aggressively. Set up our infantry line in advance. Grenadiers will, will hold the right. And the balance of our cavalry can be on the left. Happy to let my artillery shoot at whoever they like off the bat. Howitzers need to start focusing on enemy infantry. We've knocked out one of their mortars with our foot artillery. Okay, I might provide a bit more close artillery support on this flank. That's where we're, we are. Not that we're the weakest on that flank, but it's the most problematic flank. Until we advance out of this pocket. There we go. We're going to get our decisive edge on the other flank. Bring my cuirassier around. There we go. Now my Infantry start opening up. My foot artillery start engaging the infantry lines. There we go. More are still firing, but they're in trouble. Let's hit this colonial line infantry unit in the rear. Let's start to retarget different units. Push you up. African native infantry. K 
keep running my cavalry around the rear. Push grenadiers in to support the cuirassier. Cuirassier go for the guards. Light cavalry go for the general's bodyguard. Large enemy break in the center. Line infantry here now being attacked by grenadiers. The Amazons are firing into the back of their own general bodyguard. That's great. Okay, I think you're all able to shoot. No, no not quite. I'll say you're all able to shoot at something. That's not quite true. Excellent. There goes their right flank. Charge the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards up the hill. Give them an advance. Get my general up here. Good quick climb hits right here. New man hit the Amazons because the general's routed. Bit of a suicide mission pushing you guys in like that, really. Broken, broken. Yeah, my dress, yeah, that was a bit of a silly move pushing them in like that. You guys push up like that. You men. Fill in the gap with the Grenadiers. Howitzers. Okay, you get out of the way. My light cavalry got caught out as well, trying to pursue the enemy routing troops. Former, kill those men on the right so we can we can uh, set up our flank a bit more intelligently. You men might not be able to kill the native African infantry well enough, but that's a risk I'm willing to take with your lives. Great, there we go. Something like this is more like it. Come on, break, you infantrymen, break. You know, my infantry can just chase and kill them. Get ready. Shoot those dragoons. There we go, now they're coming in. No, nope, they're gone. Go get him. Get a handful of kills. They're still manning their guns. They're still running around. Push up with speed and ferocity. Oh, they're wavering.
switch my howitzers to round round shot. They can't hit the 52nd. So let's get them to engage the infantry on the left. Foot artillery engage the 52nd. There we go. That was a bit messy, wasn't it? Still. Victory is ours. Nunes is taken. And let's see if we can use that to negotiate a peace with the Spanish. Hey, they went for it. Let's fix you. Let's get you guys back into port. So they are just right here. So they haven't gone away. But we can spend a bit of money on getting Tunis to be an actual productive member of our empire. We don't need a dry dock. Send my priest to go have my my agent to go have a look at Algiers. Let's get better roads. Let's get one of our light galleys over here to occupy the port. Two turns till we get Tatooine, so Kasserine's gonna become a church school. Tatooine may become a industry building. Okay, four thousand and eighty. First of all, get you guys into Gdansk. We're going to start chipping away. And that problem... Actually, that's a point. Before we do that battle, let's do... Okay, you're still doing good stuff. Nyasi, you're doing good stuff. Ankara, 63%. Damascus... 87%, that's really good. Cairo, 70%, although I could upgrade Aswan to get a... Actually, I think I probably will. When Aswan grows, I'll develop you into a church school so I can move this agent on. Astrakhan's doing great. They're going to be done soon. Belgrade... It's taking a bit longer. Kiev. Work in progress. Ufa is 100% Catholic. Okay, let's send you up to Kazan. Ah, oh, they were on to gentlemen. Okay, don't have to worry about gentlemen. Okay, hey, Simone Ferrari, you've not been involved in a fight against the Prussians yet, but this is your first time. We're going to smash them back. If we can hold Berlin at risk, well, eventually they will have to redeploy troops from the Dresden front. They'll have to redeploy troops. They can't just keep losing ground to the east. Okay, we've got a good, good artillery battery up top. Good howitzer battery. A smaller but elite infantry line. Damages up. Swiss pikes. Get my carabiner over here. Okay, howitzers can't fire. No, oh, the enemy guard core is directly in front of us. Okay, 
here. Let's just let them do their own thing for now. Bring my, just bring my skirmishes back because that's probably where they're going to run into. They, they've taken our uh, defilade. Well, they're, they're hiding in a defilade. Hey, they actually made it into the fight. I mean, my artillery is doing amazing work over here. It looks like they've concentrated a lot of their stuff in one area. Just deal with those guarded corps because they're now all inside our inside the square. Cavalry. They're only carabiner. They may get to my howitzers, but if they do, it's not a problem. Okay, now they're coming at us. Quick line. Engage the light dragoons, some artillery at the back. Let's start retargeting. Now they've, they've got marines and pikemen. That's a very bad mix. Okay, you men form square again. No, nope, they didn't need to that time. Form our line. Carabiner, go after the troops to the rear. They're coming in. Light infantry, no, they were charging in, but they've changed their mind. So for the Hussars against the Regiment of Horse, not really the best option, but we'll take it. So the enemy are trying to attempting to bash through in the center but that's not going to work push to higher ground okay let's send my hit my like now my carabiner are back here on the loose. <laughs> on on the loose. Does that even make sense? Three 
target the guns to attack targets in the center. Got line infantry to commit. is to attack the Hussars. Push you guys forward and you guys. Got the Caribbeans to run. Hey, where's my Heavy cavalry over here. Get them out. Warm up against that last unit of enemy line infantry. up and attack the Swiss line. Okay, the carabiner. Advance up rapidly. to actually be right up on top of them. You're wavering because you're tired. Oh, how cute. I imagine that there's probably some stray artillery shots that were spooking them. Let's get ready to deal with the 37. The 38th rather, there we go. Excellent. Damn right, continue. Kill the last of those gunners. Artillery cease fire. Two. Oh, it's the guys on the gun. Okay, now it's one guy on foot. Okay, let's send both these units to go after the Swiss line. Just because they've spread out. You men should be able to kill to Swiss line. Oh, these are grouped up. That's why they couldn't that's why they didn't chase down the Swiss line. Oh well. Putting line infantry is just as good. Prussian line infantry is a very good unit. that last guy and select all the cavalry just improve pathfinding nice good victory let's push them back yep, they can't have too many victories like that no way you're going to advance up Mr. Balbus, replenish. Okay, now you can be upgraded to an iron workshop. You're not going to be upgraded to anything. Oop. Come on, there we go. <laughs> so we've got two armies here that are a reasonable strength. 
but neither of them are particularly scary. So if we can gather our forces together, smash them both. Suddenly you're going to be in trouble. Especially if we hold these bridges. But yeah, look how many men they've got around here. Von Zieten. That's the strength. That's the core of their power. So you've got Philip Strub in the middle of the foot, middle of the town. Okay, he's not actually got much strength. But yeah, we need to go to work on them. It's going to take a bit of time. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.